everyone, it's Carrie here. Today I'll be taking the Honda Trail and going up to the Grand Mesa National Forest. It's beautiful up there and I'm hopeful that maybe we'll see some moose and some other creatures. Um, definitely some lakes, there's hundreds of lakes up there, lots of fishing going on. We'll see what we see when we get up there. Come along, it'll be fun and definitely an adventure. Let's get on this baby and ride. Let's go. Hey, so we are just now entering Grand Mesa National Forest, brought to you by US Department of Ag. Thank you very much. Makes me happy to pay my taxes for things like this. All right, let's go up and tool around and see what we can see up here. It's really beautiful. So this is a beautiful lake up here on top of the Grand Mesa and we've got some boaters, we've got some kayakers, people are camping at various spots, we've got people out on their thingies. I love it when everybody waves. It's so great. It's just such a friendly place to be but it is just magnificent. And this is just one of hundreds of lakes that are up here on top of the Mesa. Cause it's the Grand Mesa. I forget how many thousands of acres it is, but it's huge. It's like 300,000 acres. It's gigantic, but so pretty. How's it going? Good. Are those your ferocious beasts? No, no they're not yours? No? No, they're not ferocious. They they're, are, but they're, they're not ferocious beasts. <laughs> I meant that jokingly. They do. Yeah, they look pretty cute. Come here. What are their names? Betty and Bella yeah. and Betty? Yeah. Is one of them a pup? Uh, Betty. Yeah. You can see it in her face. Betty! <coughs> Betty! Betty! Come here! Come here, Betty! Hi! What are you That's doing? Betty. Hi, Betty. She's very shy. Is she? Yeah. Is the other one the mom? No. No? Are they related? Yeah, because we got them. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're yours. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Are you ready for school to start? School is starting next I Wednesday. know. Yeah, you ready? Yep. What, are you going to be in fourth grade? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have children, so I know that. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go down to the lake. Are you coming? Do you guys want to go? Oh, woo yourself. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. All right, the easiest way is over here, we're told. You going to show us where? Yeah. Show us where to go. Hey, sorry to intrude a little. 
Thanks. <laughs> yeah, oh, perfect. Right on, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's very handy. Look. Right here. Rock steps. Perfect. Look at. I wish the sun was shining because you could see right to the bottom of the lake. Everywhere you turn, it's beautiful up here. I mean, everywhere. And there's fish jumping. Um, and these lakes are just clist <laughs> sorry, clister. They are crystal clear blue. So beautiful. So if you're a fisherman and you um, wanna come out to Colorado, remember the Grand Mesa, this is the place to come to. So look, come out to the Grand Mesa, you can go hiking, you can bring your horse, or you can go mountain biking. Up that road right there, or up that trail. You're way better than I am if you can mountain bike that stuff. Anyway, it's so beautiful. And so up here on the Grand Mesa, there's hundreds of lakes. And the reason why there's a hundred hundreds of lakes is because the Mesa, the Grand Mesa, is the largest flat top mountain in the world. And it, I think, is around 300,000 acres in size. And we get about 10 feet of snow up here um, over the winter. And so, you, because it's flat and there's that much snow, when it melts in the springtime, in late or sorry early summer this is what you get are all these lakes and so there's just hundreds of them and it's a fisherman's paradise so if you're into lake fishing I highly recommend a visit to Grand Mesa and because it's national forest you can camp um, wherever they have some formalized campgrounds but then there's also dispersed camping so you can go camp wherever you want um, it's incredibly affordable uh, the weather is typically pretty nice. You can see we do have some clouds forming over there. It might rain a little bit. It rained on us, um, rained on me a little bit riding up here, but nothing major. And it's definitely cooler up here. So down at Grand Junction, um, which is about 45 minutes drive from here, it's probably over 100 degrees. And so people come here and find respite from the heat because it's way cooler. I think right now it's probably around 79, 80 degrees. Uh, so it's lovely. Okay, everyone, I'm about to attempt my first, like, you know, water crossing. It's gonna be great. It's really not that deep. It's gonna be easy, but I'm gonna go do it. Come with me.
switching widths with a dirt bike. I kept using this net and I was swiping them all up. And then what are you going to do with those little minnows? Uh, I think I'm going to use them as bait. Yeah. I'm going to keep two of them. And then, oh, really? And take them home? Yeah. And what kind of fish are you going to catch with those minnows? Uh, I'm going to try to catch a lot of trout. Ooh, brown trout, rainbow, mm, what are they? Rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah. Do they like minnows? I have no idea, but I'm going to try. Exactly. Cool. Well, thanks, hon. You're welcome. Cool. All right. Thank you.